Insigne returns for TFC. What do we make of a new formation here for TFC, Greg? Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. A lot of changes, and I think, yeah, you focus on that center of the middle of the park, really, with Martins and Ursel having that veteran experience. And, of course, Aru, who's got a number of starts under his belt this season. And so we go one more time. The regular season full of delightful, chaotic irregularities. And away we go. A fallen foe. Positionally, I think, for him to be a real kind of mainstay in this TFC lineup. Bradley calmly into Owusu. Into Lorenzo Insigne. Here comes the Italian international. Dropping the shoulder, craving half a yard. Bernadeschi. 30, 40 minutes most likely for Orlando until they can find that kind of rhythm. 53 goals scored this season, 55 the club single season record. Towards the back post it goes and easily gathered this time by Sean Johnson. Bradley dispossessing. Here's Insigne. And ahead of him is Federico Bernadeschi. Opening here for TFC. Bernadeschi. With runners aplenty, went for goal himself. Let's try and threaten this Orlando City side. Senior looking for assist number six this season. Awusu! It will be the right foot of Insigne. And into the stands it goes. Poetio on the ball now, the player who came in. From a potential MVP candidate in Luciano Acosta. Here comes TFC, Insigne! Oh, gathered and smothered by Steidaha. Not completely cleared away by Orlando. Insigne showing an interest. And with that goes the half-time whistle. And they can find themselves in wider areas, central areas, closer together, further apart. Uh, it just gives them a whole kind of another dimension, I think, offensively. A couple of weeks watching on from the stands and from several other observation decks. We'll be excited with this particular move as they maneuver towards the edge of the penalty area. Lorenzo Insigne! Good save by Steidaha. Has to go down as perhaps the best opening for TFC thus far in the game. Opportunity for Insigne here. We talked about just getting into isolation. There's going to be moments, of course, that you want these players to be in isolation there. Instead of being a little more proactive, getting into the area could have been trouble. Here they come again. The threat of all people, Benedeschi! Straight down the throat of Mason Steidaha. Benedeschi was probably surprised he had so much space. It's a great location to be in. If he's able to hit it left or right of Steidaha, he probably scores. Well, the Audi 2023 MLS Cup playoffs start next week. It all leads to MLS Cup December 9th on MLS season pass. Ball flick through, Awusu! Offside! And the celebrations cut short at Bimo Field. Really tight. Yeah, and I think he's just going to be just inches offside. You can see there, he's just leaning there. Antonio Carlos does a good job of getting himself up quickly just to put him in that offside position and give his team a chance to go off with a victory. When you insert these type of players into your lineup now, give yourself that advantage. Just gets tripped up in the end. Bradley across the cover. Maguire looking to get the better of him. Look at Maguire! My word, what a goal! My word, this boy's a star! That is a glorious goal! Well, I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, okay, Michael Bradley pinches here, he doesn't get it, but that's okay. He's going to be able to catch up to him and really make it difficult for Duncan Maguire, but Duncan Maguire, my word! Pick that out. Sensational strike. I mean, just the ability to now hit that on a real full run. You're basically in full stride, Duncan McGuire is in that stage there. You don't expect him to try and attempt to hit that out of the air. Across, further away from goal. Here's 
Pereira, the Uruguayan. Thrust forward now for Maguire. It's Duncan Maguire! Glorious goal! No mercy required! 13 MLS goals for Orlando City's number 13. All smiles for Duncan Maguire. What an incredible ball this is too. But it really starts with just a run from Duncan Maguire. I think that's what's forgotten in the way his game has kind of grown in Major League Soccer. And although it's been a short growth because it really hasn't started till midsummer, but he hasn't. He has just got that knack of understanding how to hurt teams, and he does it just there again with just a such an intelligent run from coming from one side of the field to the other, right into the path. And then, of course, at that moment, you say, "Well, he's going to score, no problem." He's so efficient around goal, as we've seen already tonight. My CFC out. Incredible. Even New York able to get in there with just those 11 wins. Number of draws to make up valuable points in the end. Insignia clips the woodwork. Still, TFC can't find a way through. It's given a little bit of a gift. He just clips the woodwork, as you mentioned. One of those nights just unable to find that final. Insigne. Bernadeschi. Bernadeschi lets fly. Gulo able to charge down. More to this club, but they've got to be surrounded with those type of players that complement them. So you got to stay optimistic if you're a TFC fan. But today, the headlines belong to Orlando City.